Welcome to TalkersAndGeeks.com. Justin here, back with more video game reviews. And today we're going to be reviewing Carry Onward. And this is the Nintendo Switch review. So all footage that you see here are recorded directly from my Switch Lite. As always, I give you a brief synopsis of the story. So here we go. Carry Onward is a short emotional narrative-driven game that follows Thomas, a grieving man as he embarks on a journey of self-discovery while packing up his home. Experience his quest to find healing and hope as he prepares to leave behind the house he once shared with his beloved wife. And just basically that is the whole gist of this is that you play as Thomas as you interact. I'll, I'll get a little bit more into the gameplay in a bit, but as he's basically packing up and moving out of his home that he shared with his wife and we get a little bit of more of a backstory, not too much, but it, it's enough characterization in here that gives us enough emotional weight for it the game is only going to take you about i would say 20 minutes to complete and it's only five dollars on the switch so i i saw it I, I read the synopsis looked at the trailer a little bit i was like you know what it's five dollars uh let me go pick this up and enjoy this nice 25 minute 20 minute uh short narrative game and i'm happy i did i really did like the character of thomas and the story is told through various interactions with certain objects such as alcohol you find out that this is a minor spoiler that thomas started to drink a lot to numb the pain of losing his wife and how that drinking actually kind of affected him so it did a really good job for us as gamers or even just the audience whoever's going to pick this up to give enough characterization enough weight to thomas without giving a full full scope backstory of the relationship of him and his wife you get basic information of how they met you get to as you interact with objects you get to feel that that pain that he's feeling you also get to see and hear how great of a woman she actually was and why she was basically his rock and why he basically kind of collapsed when she died it, you know it's something that you know you're gonna pick up and go wow gameplay and graphics so let's talk about the gameplay here because this is one of those narrative games and all you're doing literally is just interacting with various objects around the room and you have three choices or multiple choices of how you want to interact with it depending on your choice is actually going to shape certain dialogues and certain backstories and certain um narrations of how thomas is actually going to heal so if you go more of a I love my wife type of narrative, he's going to basically be doing things for her, living for her. But if he's more on just, oh, man, she's gone. I got to heal myself. The dialogue will reflect about him and his journey and him having to find solace in this. As far as the graphics goes, I thought the graphics were, were pretty good and stellar for this. No frame rate issues here. I thought actually the lighting works very well here, as you can see, as you saw right there with the sh uh, with the light room and the shadows work very, very well. It really gives you this somber, solace type of feel with the use of colors, the use of lighting. I did like the overhead camera angle. At first, I, it took a little bit to get used to it, but I thought it worked very well here. I thought the graphics is good. I thought it did a really good job of really encapsulating what the thing is going for so let's go a little bit to music and sound this doormat has always been a symbol of warmth i hope i can offer that same warmth to others who need it Sound is what really makes it work here. I mean, you have a very stellar performance and you have a score that's very emotional as you just hear that soundtrack 
as Thomas is moving those boxes, it's kind of it kind of is like a solace type of theme. It's like, okay, I'm coming into terms with something and it's time for to be hopeful, something for more better days. The use of piano, the guitar, the strings, the drums, it all works very well. The voice acting is actually a really stellar performance too. You really hear, feel and hear the pain in Thomas's voice as he's talking about these memories and times that he shared with his wife. It really makes you think when, you're, when, the, when the closing credits come, it really starts to think about how you handle death. How do you deal with it? Are you like even me playing this myself? And I was just thinking about my uncle who passed a couple of years ago. It's just like to this to this day, I still can't look at his picture because you know it just kind of it still hurts. But it's like that, those memories are still with me, you know. And as time went on, it, it's getting a little bit more easier to look at the good times and all the great memories and things like that. And it's just nothing but joy that happens now these days. But it, it's it's something that really I think everyone can relate to. Like I said, it's $5. It's only going to take you 25 minutes. And it's a decent enough story here. It's enough meat here with multiple endings and multiple playthroughs for you with different dialogue choices for you to see different various endings. And each ending is touching or heartbreaking. It's a really good game. I'm going to give this a, a B plus. It's a nice... Think of it as a quick short film. It's a nice experience. It's only going to take you 20 minutes. It's $5, so it's not going to hurt you to invest in it. This is Justin from TacosGeeks.com. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you're watching this on YouTube. And thank you for visiting TacosGeeks.com. Lady days.